Hi, I'm Dennis Atherton, and today's hot tip is transitioning from the peristernal window to the apical window using your peristernal image to guide you. All right, so we're going to talk about going from the peristernal to the apical windows. And rather than just lifting the transducer up and start looking for the apical windows, one of the tricks that I like to use is I let the peristernal window direct me to where the apex is. So in this view, you can see that the apex is down uh, just below his left nipple. So I'm going to just slide the transducer down there and rotate the transducer into the apical view. And I've very quickly found the apical four-chamber view in which to start my views. So rather than just lifting the transducer and hunting around again, I use this transition move from a peristernal long axis sliding down and then rotating to a four-chamber view and can quickly find the spot that I need to continue the exam. Okay, now you give it a try. Yeah.